Here's how to work with tabs in a Google Doc. By default, when we go through and open up a document, um, Google Docs has a tab set every half inch. What does that mean when I hit tab? When I have my ruler up, it stops every half inch. One of the things I like to do to see if whether or not people are using tabs or using spaces is I'm going to go ahead and go to view and I'm going to show non-printing characters. So you will see the arrows right here is going to indicate that a tab was used, whereas between one and zero here, it is going to be um, a space. Now, because of the font and and font size on this one, if I go back here for 10.01 and I backspace and I don't have a space there and I hit tab, it's going to move over and it's going to move over just a little bit because that is going to be the half inch mark right there because again, every half inch. And again, if I go to view, turn off that, it's not as big as what you were looking for um, in your image that you sent. So just to make life easier, I'm going to turn these back on, these non-printing characters. And what I can do, because this text is already typed, I'm going to select the text and then I'm going to set a tab. The minute that I set the, a tab, anything to the right, those tabs won't be there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose instead of this half inch mark right here, I'm going to go over just a smidge more and I'm going to go ahead and click on my ruler and I'm going to add a left tab stop. Now watch what happens when I do that. You will see that this tab stop is now on my ruler and if your ruler is not visible, you can turn it on by going view, show ruler, view, show ruler. And I can now take this tab stop and I can move it over. So. This is a great example of a really big tab and you will notice how section 118 there goes back under the one and maybe we want to actually have it not go under there. So when I do that, basically what I want to do is I want to do a hanging indent. So I'm going to go ahead, you'll see that we have this little line here is called your first line indent and then the, right here is a left indent. It's important that I highlight my text, including the paragraph and I'm going to move the triangle independent and put my first line back. And this would be what would be considered a hanging indent and I can make those second ones go together. Now I can move my left tab over and I can move this left indent over. And you'll notice they kind of move both of them at the same time, but I can grab and I can adjust. Sometimes it's a lot easier to move these and set these before you have your enters in or your text. Because you're going to notice when I go down here on this line, you will see on my ruler here that my left indent is back to my left margin and my tab is set here. Because when I clicked in this line, I only moved, the, moved that information for the line. So if you want everything to be the same, you're going to want to go ahead and click and try to get them so they're all in similar spots. So I like to use tabs to go through and line up information for that part. I hope that helps. If not, let me know and I'll come up and walk you through it.